Got right up to the top of the hump with that one, which is what we need, but now we have a feel for how much energy it's going to take to really get it up there. Try and isolate this platform a little bit. In other words, knock some, some of the resistance away from the side so that it has less material to break through on its travel to the middle, to the top of that hump. most of the way up. That one all the way to the top. So we're we're nipping and digging a little bit on the edge, but the plan is to travel, send these flakes traveling to the middle to reduce the thickness, and it's working. Good one. This platform is below the center line as I'm looking at it here. It's on this side of the platform, if you will, or the, this side of the center plane. So I want to drive it, need to drive it that way. It, it is possible to drive it that way, but at fairly great expense. It takes a lot of edge off, takes a lot of energy, and the trauma to the piece sometimes is too much. So let's take a little bit off this direction and raise that edge up so that it's closer to that. It's a good one fanned out here because there was no ridge, but we expected that. Another one here. Not much. Now we'll come this way with our braider. We've raised the edge a little bit. We're going to try and send the energy this direction to travel along that ridge. Beauty. That's exactly what we wanted. Didn't lose much on the edge. Hit it square actually. Traveled along the ridge right up to the top of the mass and then flared two different directions from there. Nicely to the middle. Starting to thin it. 
not losing too much edge. Good travel there. And we're setting up a series of ridges, which is part of the goal. There's another area that's thick. Traveled all the way over to here. Nice. Past the center. See if we can get one off this back corner. Got a central ridge that we pushed over to here, but that's pretty close to this plane or, or to this edge. high in relation to our imaginary center plane. But if we strike at enough force, we should be able to get pretty good travel right down that ridge. Hopefully without causing too much stress on the biface. We got to travel, but it was a pretty tiny flake because I barely hit it. So let's regroup and see if we can get a little, little bit better hit. Same direction, but a little more mass. how much wider that flake was. Went all the way to here. Now we've really reduced a lot of that hump. This side's already not pretty flat. We've taken quite a bit off of this lip area and taken all of that bulb of percussion off. Ridges to follow. Really we want to be I want to be coming in left to right. I've got more width to sacrifice than I do length because typically the shape of the arrowhead is going to end up being longer than it is wider. Okay, where are we? And it's really on this side of the uh, center plane, but this is below it. So I think that looks like a good candidate to try and come back this way. And then we can drive some flakes. All the way to here. Cleaned up a little bit of a step fracture we had there too. It's nice. Plus, look at what it did to the to the top. It's just.